A dramatic surge in lumber prices is making the dream of home ownership harder to achieve for many Americans. A big increase in home renovations during the pandemic drove up demand, and sawmills, well, they've had a lot of trouble keeping up, including ones in Alabama. CBS's Maria Villarreal reports from Vestavia Hills. Hard to tell from this view, but Bob Dixon's Southeast Alabama mill is considered small by industry standards. My whole game is to get this in somebody else's shed, not mine. He says logistical issues like staffing and delivery are making it hard to respond to the increase in lumber demand. The issue now with employees being paid to stay at home, it's not just our industry, it's everywhere you go. In addition to the logistical hurdles, mills are also facing soaring demands for home renovations. The result? Lumber prices have tripled in the last 12 months since April, adding roughly $36,000 to the price of a new home. It's tough. Birmingham builder Alicia Huey says higher prices threaten her business and price homeowners out of the market. So if this is going up for you, I would imagine then that cost gets pushed onto the homeowner? It does. But right now, I can't tell anybody how much a house is going to cost. What does that do to the American dream? It kills it. The ripple effect now reaching families that need help the most. The nonprofit Habitat for Humanity no longer taking applications in Birmingham. Industry expert Paul Yonke says at the start of the pandemic, mill operators and home builders scaled back to prepare for a recession that never came. We saw people. Um, you know, wanting to move out of the cities and purchase new homes. We saw people wanting to add on and make improvements to their homes. So that strong surge in demand at the same time we saw production and buying decline um, is really what drove this, these prices so high. That industry expert we spoke with said prices are already starting to come down and we should see a significant decrease in the fall when demand usually comes down as well. But he did warn, do not expect those pre-pandemic prices. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, just outside Birmingham, Alabama.